uh, he will show how to perform this uh, test. Uh, but firstly, we need to uh, show the equipment that we need. We need two chairs, uh, a ruler, and all equipment, um, a step, and something to take it from the ground and use the pole. Um, there are different categories in the durability scale. It usually takes from 15 to 20 minutes to perform these uh, different categories, and uh, it's an ordinary scale from 4 to 0. 4 the maximum independence, so this is 4, and 0 the lowest is 4. And we will be performing different uh, posters and different tasks. So, uh, we will start now, and the first one will be uh, sitting to standing. <coughs> So, uh, you will try to stand up now. I'm going to observe how uh, he did perform the standing. Uh, he was able to stand without using any hands or any assistance, so he will support support, the maximum support. Now, standing and supported, uh, as you can see, uh, he's standing is steady. And now for the support, uh, I will uh, start uh, the timer for two minutes. If he was able, if he was able to stand for two minutes, steady, uh, in a steady manner, he will score four. So we will start now. I need to continue to uh, two minutes uh, in order to score uh, the maximum score for four. If it is less than that, or he needs super vision, then we need to uh, go for the other uh, scores. Okay, now he was able to stand for two minutes, so he will score four. Uh, and because he was able to stand uh, uh, unsupported, we will not do the uh, third category, which is uh, sitting with the back unsupported. And you will then skip to the item number four, which is standing to sitting. So I will ask you now to sit down. And as you can see, he was able to sit down without using any support, without using any arms. And that's why he will uh, score four. Now the transfers, we have two chairs, and usually we use one uh, without arms and one with arms, but here we uh, are using both without arms. And I will ask him uh, to transfer from this chair to this one, and the placement of chairs, as you can see, is to allow the pivot movement. So can you please now move to the other chair? And he was able to transfer safely, and he didn't use uh, his arms to do this uh, transfer, so he will score four. And uh, now I will ask you again to stand up, please. And uh, he will um, uh, maintain his standing uh, with eyes closed. So you need to close your eyes. Yes. And it doesn't have to be this narrow, so you need to, you need to close, yes. And you will close your eyes now, and I will start the uh, step hold. Uh, at least for uh, 10 seconds. Okay, that's good. So if he's able to stand for uh, 10 seconds with eyes closed, he will score four. So he's able to do that, that's why he will score four. And now uh, we will do another, we will move to the, the other category, which is the standing uh, and supported with feet together. So I'll ask you now to narrow. Uh, use raise of support, both feet uh, together, uh, and he is able to uh, maintain uh, this position uh, for one minute, safety, without swaying, without using anything to the support for. So again, you need to use your step hold and go for one minute. If he's able to do that, he will score four. Uh, if not, uh, so if the time is uh, shorter than that, or if you need supervision, then you need to move to the other lower scores. But he's able to uh, to stand for one minute with the both feet together. That's why he will score four. Okay, I'm supposed now. Uh, now we will uh, go to this ruler. Thank you. And the uh, idea is to uh, reach forward. As you can see, the ruler is at the shoulder level. And he, uh, he needs to lift his arm up to the ease, and then he needs to reach forward. Uh, I need to uh, know the starting point uh, so I can uh, then uh, see the uh, how how far can he go. Can he please now bend forward? 
and see we, we started it from uh, 90 centimeters and now we 125. Thank you. Uh, see the difference, we need to calculate the difference and it is able to uh, reach forward uh, 25 centimeters. Uh, so we can score four. Uh, and actually, uh, this one should be spoiled more than actually 25 centimeters. Now, we need to uh, pick an object from the floor. It can be anything. Uh, and uh, this object doesn't have to be in front of you, okay? In front of the performer. So, uh, can we please pick this object from the ground? Thank you. Uh, thank you. If he's able to pick the object um, without any assistance, and he was um, uh, able to uh, pick it steadily, then he will score four. Uh, now uh, you will need to see, you need to look at your right and left shoulder to make it west. Okay, um, and um, um, if, if you think that you might help the uh, performer by showing something, so. Uh, you can facilitate the uh, post of the performer, you can do that. Uh, if he's able to uh, do this and shift his weight, uh, then he will score uh, four. And uh, I'll ask now to turn 360 degrees and go back again. And then we will uh, do it in the uh, other direction. Okay, he was able to do this in less than four seconds. We need to also uh, to see the timer as well, so that one you will score four. Uh, and now we will, from standing, um, um, we will go before that. We will take the step at least. And now alternate steps will use right and then will use left. And you need to make a total of eight steps. If he's able to do that then he will score four on this one. And the other one is uh, the um, standing uh, uh, unsupported and put one in front of the other. It, so we need to perform the tandem um, stance here. Uh, and we uh, need to also to hold this for 30 seconds. So use your support again and see how long you can do this. If he's able to uh, maintain the tandem stance uh, independently for 30 seconds, he will score four. And actually, he can do that. So I'll switch the support. Uh, then uh, you can do this. And now we will be performing uh, standing on one leg. So uh, again, you need your support. And if he will be able to stand uh, independently on one leg for uh, more than 10 seconds, he will score four. So stand on one leg. And uh, on the step coach, if he can stand uh, 10 seconds or more. If he did that, yes, he already passed the 10, thank you. And then he will score four. Uh, the uh, total score for the Berg balance scale is uh, 56, this is the maximum and because he scored 4 in all the categories, uh, so his total score will be uh, 56 for this assessment.